Hello, hello. Was, was I on and off briefly? I meant to go to... That's where I meant to go, all right? <laughs> Still haven't learned one month in a day. Well, it feels like I was just here yesterday. It couldn't be so, could it? It's so last month. So last month. Right, okay. Today is a different month, a different challenge. <laughs> Jen's just made me laugh by commenting it, commenting on the chat. I can't remember what it was now. It's funny. ATC stands for thrilling challenge. A thr Another thrilling challenge. Another thrilling challenge. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope it will be a thrilling challenge, and I hope we'll all embrace it. It would appear that I have some. I'm going to say rules because they're not rules, but I have some kind of. Guidelines. Guidelines. That's it, Mr. <laughs> F. Well done. Gentle advice. Make sure you not do a, it. Not so gentle. <laughs> yeah, some guidelines. So I'm going to kind of go through that. Then I'm going to make a quick little ATC with you in the theme of the month. And then whilst whilst I'm doing this, you can be asking questions. Can I just say, if you've got a question that you really want answered, can you put it in block capitals, please? It's much easier for Mr. F to see them if they're in block capitals. Put your glasses on, you'll find it easier that way. Lovely. So, right, ATCs. Camera, camera, camera. No? Yes, no? Well, I don't think I need the camera. No. That's I right. just want to talk to people. We're sitting here loud and proud. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the ATC swap. I've got it written down here, look. Full side of things to tell you. The ATC itself, this bit here needs to be two and a half by three and a half. Not any more, that would be wrong. <laughs> Not any less, that would be wrong. And it can be in portrait or landscape. Okay, <laughs> very good signage. Um, people who are hard of hearing won't need to put the subtitles <laughs> on. <laughs> Excellent. So, right, it needs to be two and a half by three and a half. It can be portrait or landscape. OK, right. You can build up a thickness from the base. You know, if you're putting dimensional tape on or um, you're just putting people off. Stop it. <laughs> you're putting you me off. <laughs> You can, you can build a thickness up from the card. If you're putting dimensional tape on to boost something up, that's fine. Um, what you can't do is build out from your two and a half to th by three and a half. You can't make any part of this. You can't have a butterfly hanging off the side, for example. You're going to have to chop its wing off, all right? There's only one way for it. But you can put your butterfly on dimensional tape if you want to and build, pop it up a little bit. So two and a half by three and a half, portrait or landscape. You can build up its thickness, but not over the two and a half by three and a half in width and height. I think if I keep repeating these, I'll get the hang of it. Um, right. You, in any given month, which runs from the first day of the month to the last day of the month, whichever month it is, it will run, you'll be given your theme on the first day of the month and I'll sit with you and I'll do, um, I'll do my ATC. Um, and they need to be with your coordinator in whichever country that is applies to you by the last day of the month. Now, if it's not with the coordinator on the last day of the month. No, it doesn't go, it doesn't go in the bin. It goes into the swap for the next month's um, swap. <laughs> it doesn't get booted. Um, right. So, yeah, you can swap one card if you want to one ATC or you can swap two but two is the maximum please the coordinators are you know they're new to this I'm new to this we're all learning so don't swamp them with four six eight ATCs for all you might like making them put them in your own album and just send the coordinators a maximum of two please um I was going to, have to say something else. Yeah, in in when you send your um, ATCs to the coordinator, please don't include any extra stuff. 
don't, as tempting as it may be when you've paid the postage to send them happy mail in with the ATCs, please don't because then it it's just not fair really because what do the coordinators do? Do they make stuff to send you back, etc.? And it just gets messy. So just send the ATCs, nothing more, apart from a stamped dressed envelope. So in your envelope going off to your coordinator should be either your one or your two ATCs and a stamped self-addressed envelope. And that is the envelope you will receive your swap back from the coordinators in. So in your envelope that you send to your coordinators, you will have a maximum of two ATCs that you've made and your stamped self-addressed envelope. Now the postage on the envelope that you include, in the UK, please can you put a large letter stamp on it? It can be first class or second class, it, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, unless you're in an extreme hurry to get your swap back. Um, but as long as it's a large one. And the reason I'm saying that is because if people do build their cards up and they end up quite thick, an ordinary letter size in, in the UK, it'll be too thick for that. And the, when you get your, your uh, swap back, you'll be asked to pay extra postage. And it's not never just the couple of pence that it is. It's always three pounds or whatever and just let's eradicate that by asking everybody when they send their ATC in the UK to set, to send a stamp self-addressed envelope with a large letter on it. Stamp. If you're in the US, Judy is Judy Hoff is your coordinator um, and she's requesting that you put your two one or two, you can swap either one or two of your ATCs and on your uh, stamped self-addressed envelope that you include in your envelope to Judy, can you put two forever stamps on that envelope and that will cover thick cards etc. So nobody will get charged any extra mail. It may be if you're just swapping one that you just get one thin one back and you think, why did I pay extra postage? It's just to facilitate it because we can't have Ros and Judy and Candice measuring each one, how much is that, blah, blah. Just Let's just make it easy from the start. If you're in the States, your stamped self-addressed envelope will have two forever stamps on it. In the UK, it will have a large letter stamp. Look, if you, if you like, look at it as the cost to to play, if you like. Um, Canada, Roz Peel is our uh, coordinator in Canada. Between her, me and Mr F, we cannot fathom what the postage should be. The Canadian post office website is, it's like torture. Nightmare. It's like wading through treacle. So I don't know what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for inspiration. <laughs> And as soon as I know the stamp that you have to include in your package to Ros, I will let you know. And it will be within the next day or two. We will crack that <laughs> post office site. We will. So just to repeat that, you will post off in an envelope your one or your two ATCs that you're going to swap. You will also include your stamped self-addressed envelope which in the UK will have a large stamp on it. In the US, it will have two forever stamps. Okay, everybody with me so far? <laughs> I've repeated this about 60 times now, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, do not include happy mail, please. It just complicates everything. So the, the ATC itself, let's just go to here. No, here. Um, it's two and a half by three and a half, as I've already said. On the back, you need to say, at the very least, your name and the date. This is a kind of swanky stamp I've got. It's an Elizabeth Crafts um, stamp. 
I know Globland do them. Um, if you haven't got any stamps, it doesn't matter. Just write on your name and write on the date. And that, that's all you really need to, to write on there. Right, <laughs> back to it. Um, yeah, submissions should reach the coordinator by the last day of the month, which I've already told you. And every month there will be a different theme, which I will announce on the first of every month. And let me just run through this just to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Two and a half by three and a half portrait or landscape build up from the base, but not outside. Do not include happy mail with your submission. You may swap one or two maximum. On the reverse, make sure to include your name and date as a minimum. You can put the theme on it as well if you want to. Um, what you're known as, the name you're known as, as an artist. For example, as a bit of a laugh really, but I would put Fiona Mitchell, Miss Paint a lot on mine. Um, I've covered the large letter thing. Submissions should reach the coordinator by the last day of the month. Any late arrivals will be included in the next swap. There will be a different theme every month, which will be announced on the first day of the month. Okay, that, I think that's pretty much all I've got to tell you. Has anybody got any questions? Uh, not so far. Shaz is liking the new stern Miss P. <laughs> uh, I put it on there that Kerry put some of the printable labels on the group. Yeah. Should you wish to print them out and stick them to the back of your ATCs yeah, yeah. and fill them in. Yeah, Kerry's just a star. Uh, that's it, I think. Okay, if you have any questions... Um, sorry, Shaz, I'm so stern. <laughs> now you know how Mr F feels when he does something wrong <laughs> which isn't frequently um, yeah if you've got any questions please will you put them in block capitals and that way then we'll hopefully think that Mr F will see them so whilst we're thinking about it I'm going to make my little um, ATC and oh no the important thing that I do need to tell you the very important thing. What is the theme? <gasps> Miss P, what's the theme? <laughs> looking at the calendar. But <laughs> the, no, didn't that the hint. The theme for the month of February 2024 is... <gasps> Travel. There you go. It can be any, any way that you interpret it. You can use any medium you like. You can use paint, you can use fabric, you can use any anything you, you can think of, you can you can use it. Um, provided you stick by the rules that it's not more than two and a half by three and a half, that's it. Beyond that, you can use anything, really anything. And questions, Miss B. Yeah. Coming in. Uh, Valerie, how will we get in touch with our coordinators? And Diane, who will our coordinators dress be? Where will the addresses be? Yeah, good. Both very good questions. The coordinators for each Canada, US and the UK will be um, posted in my Junk Journal group on Facebook. Um, and. Yeah, they'll just, you know, it'll be UK is Candace, uh, Canada is Roz, US is Judy and their names and their addresses will will be there. For you uh, to pinned to featured at the top of the group yeah be... it'll be pinned at the top so you can't shouldn't be able to miss it although facebook is a mystery to me anything else i shall have a quick look have a quick look uh, peg travel mm. Mm. i thought it was a good one and, and it doesn't tie you down to any particular medium does it or even any any anything could be a camper van it could be a greek island it I mean, Janya, Janya, is always travelling. <laughs> it's a job. Yeah. Wendy said, her post office lady says, postage is generally according to weight. An A2 size card is one for ever stamp in Canada. Yeah, this is the problem we're running up against. It's the size. I don't care how big it is because I'm only sending that. It's the thickness. It's the thickness that's the important thing. 
you know, if you get two cards sent back to you and they're both quite thick and that happen to end up lying on top of each other, that's you're going to end up with quite a bit of thickness. So that's what we need clarified, really. Not not the size. I'm not, you know, we're not mm. nobody's sending something that size. It's the thickness is the critical bit. Yeah, because in the UK, it's an inch. Yeah. You go um, up to an inch with a large. You can go up to an inch. In America, I think the flat is three quarters of an inch. Yeah. But Canada, we've got no idea. We can't just get to the bottom of it. We just can't. Because it's impossible it. to know the weight. Ros was going dotty last night with it all. <laughs> Nearly yeah. drove it a drink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's... Um... Jen's got a bus pass for that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's here's my little uh, ATC cut to the right size. I've used... Um, uh, uh, Jen asked the question apparently, but I don't know where it's disappeared to. Oh, is it gone? Uh, um, Judy says, "Will the ATC post be stuck to the area the Collage Challengers are in?" Yes. Yes. That, yes, Judy. That's, that's called features po featured posts, and it's pinned at the top of the group. Yeah, that's where it'll be, Judy. Uh, and I've got to try and find Jen's now. Okay. She. If you put it in capitals, I just missed it entirely. Well, whilst you're looking for that, I'll just say that I happen to have this um, Elizabeth Craft Design Art Journal special, and it's uh, the stamp is CS333, Break the Rules, and it's got a stamp for artist trading card. I also think that Globeland do one. I could be wrong in thinking that, but I do think... There is one somewhere. Maybe can't find it at the moment. Oh yeah, there it is. Well, hello. Yeah, this is a Globeland one. You see, you've got four different ones on there, um, and it's much cheaper than that one. So, <laughs> make your mind up. Um, yeah. Okay. So I've stamped that, and I would advise that you stamp it. You stamp. And probably write whatever it is you've got to write before you turn over and start decorating. Because once you start building things up on here, it becomes almost impossible to stamp and get any decent stamp anyway. So what I'm going to do is put down some blue roll here. Oh, I'm going to show you Mr. F's ATCs. This one you've seen, it was the same, it was the page that... Uh, that um, I made in the ideas book, but he made it in journal, in miniature size, which is really cute. And then he's got this one, which is which he did with acrylics, which I absolutely love. I really, really, really like it. It looks like a really. This looks kind of like a Caribbean island, or it's wherever you want it to be, isn't it? It's beautiful turquoise sea and the sand. I'm really proud of him for doing that. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then he thought he'd try his hand with watercolours. Watercolours are a different animal, as I'm sure most of you know. So we'll stick with that one, which I absolutely love. And on the back, he's put his name and date. So there you go. He's See, no stamp, no fuss, no nothing. He's just put his name and the date, and that's all he need to do. Good old Sharpie. Good old Sharpie. So, where am I? Yeah, what I'm going to do with this is I've got two... I've got a Distress Spray Stain in Salty Ocean and Distress Oxide Spray in Salvage Patina. And I'm just going to use my stamping platform here. There's loads of ways of doing this. I just want to get some ink onto the thing for a background so I'm just gonna just spray a little bit of ink on there and then mush it down onto here and you'll get a little bit of a background on there and keep going till you've got all all the ink off it's kind of a cleaner way I think of get, getting ink onto your background because I know some of you don't like spraying and I understand it's a right messy business that's fine we'll clean that off and then I'm going to move to the salvage patina that one 
wants to come out with a bit more gusto that's all right let's just add a bit of water to that to break up these like that and mush it down that's lovely so you get nice marks from when you pull this up you know that it sort of makes a vacuum and then you pull it up I've got quite a few letters from um, for absenteeism today <laughs> so I'm sure there isn't as many of you as there has been of late um, but some of you I think you've been putting things off until after the ideas book and the time has come you've got to do things so there's not as many people with us today as there normally is so let's just dry that off doesn't take long that's probably about it I was going to start with my salvaged patina oxide but I've changed my mind thank you uh, didn't just Clarifying that it's one envelope that you need to send in, regardless of whether you send one or two. That's correct, Jen. One envelope. One envelope. If you send two, it's still just one envelope. And the postage will cover yeah. both. That's yeah. why we've asked for that postage. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Thank you. Thanks, Jen. So we've we've got the background done and I want to put a sort of background stamp on it. I've got this one from All and Create, number 293, which is just a kind of nondescript background, which I think might look quite nice. Or, excuse me, I've got this from Globeland, which is sort of, it's kind of postagey stamps and stuff, but it's also travel, isn't it? So I don't really know. I think I'll use that one. Why not? I haven't used it very much, this one, probably once in its life. Come on, H come. That's it, blimey. Does that fit on there? Ooh, just made to measure. I'm not going to use my stamp platform. Uh, this is stays on, it's called Blue Hawaii. Um, fabulous. I really want to go to Hawaii. It's on my list of places I want to go to. They don't have any poisonous snakes, which is a big thing. So I'm just going to create a background, part of a background. So, whoops. It's got numbers on it. I didn't see that. So I'm just going to drop it down. I don't think that's entirely straight, but I don't think it entirely matters. So give that a good press down. I'm not fussed if bits are missing and stuff. It's not going to bother me. I can't get my ATC off. There we go. It's it's there. I'm sure you can see it. It's not it's not a brilliant stamp, but it's there. It just it's just something in the background right so the next thing I want to do is um, on the stamp set that I showed you this one the CS333 break the rules stamp at the top there's this suitcase and I'm pretty partial to a pile of suitcases those of you that um, followed me when I did the Atelier des Arts by Stamperia know that they had a, a pile of suitcases and I absolutely loved them. 
So I've got the suitcase and I've got this little girl here, little lady really, isn't she? So I'm going to use those two stamps and I have already stamped them out and coloured them. Three separate colours and I'm just going to, of course, just make a pile of them up this side. It doesn't really matter which colour goes where. Um, let's just glue those on. I coloured them with just my... Um, Crayons, you know, colouring pencils, coloured pencils. Because the each part is so small that I've been having to hang around for ages waiting for it to dry and then putting the next colour on. So I just did it with my um, coloured pencils. So that's that one on. And I found it very pleasing, actually. I did it this afternoon, Mr. Ruff had gone shopping. And I was doing it this afternoon. I found it quite relaxing. I'm just going to stagger them a little bit. Just think you get a nicer effect that way. And this red one on the top. So I don't, you know, I'm not hand holding here. This is this is my ATC. Whatever you choose to do will be fine. And whatever medium you choose to do it in will also be fine. I'll stick into my blue roll. Now, remember what I said to you, you can build up, but you can't build out. So this is sticking out over the edge. So it's got to come off. It's breaking the rules. So let's just take that off. So now, now we're back in line. <laughs> So my little lady, I stamped her out and coloured her in just with pencils. She looks cute, doesn't she? And she's just going to go there, sat on the top of them with her hands resting either side. So let's just stick her down. So your ATC can take you days if you want it to. You can put gold leaf on it if you want to. Which actually is a good idea, I might do that. Fake gold leaf, you know. <gasps> I'm not made of blinking money. But actually that's quite a nice idea. Oh, I meant to put her on dimensional tape. Come off my dear, come off. Um, yeah, I meant to put dimensional tape on the back of her. Which is here. She needs to, she's never made an ATC but you put in a mind at ease already. Yeah, I, I hadn't until this. I don't even know how how it came about. I have no clue, actually, how it came about. Um, but I know I'd never made one in my entire life. So that's dimensional. Can you see it there, the thickness? So I'm just going to take that off. And Jen's got a good question for you. Hang a minute till I just put her on. So, yeah, she's going to go in the same place as where I tried to stick her. But this time, she's got a bit of dimension to her. Uh, Jenya says she's super cute. My hair is short now. I have that kind of look when my hair is curly. <laughs> well, you're super cute. Whatever your hair is like, Jenya. So there she is. She's sitting on top of the cases. Do you like the hair, Jenya? Yeah. I agonised over that hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see on the side that we've got that bit of thickness there. So you can see, hopefully... If I was to send out, or re receive, should I say, two cards with that sort of thickness, and during the travels they ended up lying on top of each other, before you know it, you've got a fair bit of thickness. And some people might make thicker cards than that. Uh, right, Jen's question. Go for it. Uh, Jen, can the elements that swing out, but then store folded flat on the ATC base like a pop-up? Yeah. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yep. Uh, as long as it's fundamentally within the constraints, mm -hmm. then they can swing out, they can pop up. They can yeah, stick a brad in the corner and fold them yeah. out. You could have half a dozen that fold out. Yeah, you can buy real estate that way really easy. It's a it's a really good idea. Yep, well as done. long as when it's folded together. Yeah, well done, Jen. Brilliant question. Thank you very much. Um, oh, I nearly switched the light off. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> uh, 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 uh.
<laughs> that would have been funny. Um, so I've, I've given it a kind of travel vibe. She's sat on a pile of suitcases. And I know you live in, in jeans and a sleeveless vest place all the time, Janya, but some of us don't. So that kind of says to me that she's going off on her holidays to somewhere sunny. She's just kept all the uh, lost baggage claims. <laughs> so I'm just... I've searched today for things related to travel and for stamps that is to say and I, I don't know I've come up pretty dry um that's not on there yeah this one that I showed you before the globe land one it does have a little tiny little voyage there and I'm going to see if I can get that on at the top but I'm going to put this destination stamp on first which is a, one of the old Timmy field notes one which really has worked for its money that field notes set so i'm just oh doesn't want to stick it doesn't want to stick stick this i'm living dangerously here look because it doesn't want to stick let's give it a try don't fall off don't fall off <laughs> Try not to squish it too much. I know I just have, but you really shouldn't because you make the edges all furry. So there we are. There we are. There we are. There's our destination stamp. And I've done it on white, so it really stands out. So it gives the idea that it's um, got something to do with travel at any rate. So I'm going to try my luck and see if I can cut this. Something like straight. I can't talk and concentrate like this. So <laughs> you've got a minute's silence. Thank goodness. Happy times are here again. Oh, Mr. F singing a little song. Okay, so I've got destination there. I don't want to ink round this. I want it to look light and bright and breezy. So I can put my stump for me thing away. Bring my little lady back in. And I just want to put that up there. And I might stamp voyage. I might not. You're a bit low there, my dear. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's because we're closer in. I haven't got the real estate I normally do. So sorry about that. Uh, Candice makes a good point. She says, don't get hung up on the name. You're the artist. They're meant to be a card that is traded, never sold. Hence, artist trading card. Yes, Candice. Brilliant point. Don't anybody dare say they're not an artist. Don't you dare. No, don't Cause, you dare. Because you are. Yeah, you all are. You all, all are. I mean, Mr. F was making his ATCs in, in the living room because he knows better than to come in here. And um, I said to him, oh, pass your piece of artwork over. And he burst out laughing and said, a piece of artwork? I said, yes, that is what it is. You've made it. It's art. You know, be proud of it. And when I saw it, I just think that's fabulous. Don't you? Where, where are we? Isn't that great? I'm really, really proud of him. All palette knife. No yeah, brushes. Palette knife. Don't need no fancy he brushes. He makes his own colour for the ocean. Oh, it's great. I'm so proud of him. Anyway, so this is what I've made in the meantime. So I could put voyage on there. Voyage. Yeah, there it is. I know. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm going to call it done at that. And that's as easy as it needs to be. Be helpful if you could see it, wouldn't it? Um, I did make one earlier here, this one. did make one earlier in the day just to make sure that the theory worked. So that's the two that I've got. Um, I, I prefer this. I prefer the colours and prefer a hair and stuff. But that was my prototype if you like but this one is my ATC and it will be 
it's either going to go in my album. Can you pass my album over, please? People might be more interested in it now we've actually got to the date. There you go. Thank you. Might need to have to oh, it's just speak normally like people. We might have to zoom out a little. Please, Mr. F. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. Let's zoom there, see. zoom back. Let's see what he can do. Ooh, wrong way. That's great. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. People do not need to see the mess that I live in. <laughs> so this is my Card Guardian ATC album. It's really nice. It's lovely quality. I think a few of you have bought them. It, I'm really pleased with it. This was my first ever, ever, ever ATC. I haven't finished it yet. Um, I, I really want to be jizzle it up. Um, but it's living there probably forever because it is my number one ATC. This one can go in my album once I do the important stuff like right artist which is miss p title theme travel date first of feb 24 that's it uh, right. uh heather's got a question okay should we round the corners that's entirely up to you it's a very very good question heather it's entirely up to you you can round or not round as you wish any other that's it so there she is our little lady my little lady is in my album <laughs> It's a lovely album, this. I like it. I really kind of think it's good quality. Time will tell, of course, but I do think it's good quality. I got it from Amazon, didn't I? Yeah, Amazon. Um, I'm sure it was made in China, most everything is, but I bought it from Amazon.co.uk. Um, and I think other people, Judy, I'm pretty sure, Jen, I think. Jen bought a red one, I think. Um bought those from amazon.com but you don't need anything this grand and fancy uh, the photo album that i normally use to keep my oh come here um you know my little bits of ephemera and stuff in it's upside down but it doesn't matter um they would work adequately well just peel it back put your atc on fold it down you know you could use that you could come up with something yourself, as uh, you know, if you, you can make a little box like we made yeah. the tag boxes. Little box, something uh, like Lynn that. says, "Is it uh, so? If you wanted to use the decal edge trimmer around, is that okay?" Yeah, as long as the outside of the decal isn't coming over your measurements. <laughs> as long as the widest point is three and a half one way and two and a half the other. Yeah, decal away, round um, your corners, decal, whatever. And Judy says, could you angle them like a tag? Yeah, of course. can do anything. You can do anything. She doesn't look very nice like that, but her little face is quite nice when you see it up close. But you, you got to remember, if there's somebody that is going to put them in one of these folders, you need to be, you know, reasonably accurate with your three and a half, two and a half. Yeah, otherwise they won't fit in. You know, you can get fancy with the corners or the edges, but don't start getting smaller don't do two and a half by one and a half or yeah something fancy the, the measurement is three and a half by two and a half please please just do that <laughs> but no you can take the corners off if you want to judy you could take all four corners off you could round four corners leave it absolutely square as i've done uh, it, i just find that more pleasing than rounding the corners off if you like rounded corners, round them. If you want to make it into a tag, make it into a tag. Just, you know, within the confines of the two and a half by three and a half, please. Any questions? I'm here. I'm yours. Ask me. No.
nobody's asking any questions particularly at this moment in time. What's Judy saying about Deckel Edge? Uh, Judy, Jen, not sure about the Deckel Edge because it might affect the size in many different areas. No, Deckel Edge is absolutely fine. Yeah, as long as the widest part of your Deckel isn't going to make it above two and a half or three and a yeah. half. The, the widest part of your ATC must be two and a half by three and a half. So deckle them, cut the corners off, whatever. But, you know, don't make it half the size. It's got to be three and a half by two and a half. <sighs> Please. And if you're not sure, cut a piece of card two and a half by three and a half. And when you've finished it, put it on top. And if you can see too much of the card underneath, it's too small. Yeah. If you can see little bits of it all the way around because you've done a deckle edge, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's common sense, people. So after this um, live, I'm going onto Facebook and I'm going to write, write all this down in a post and included in that will be the coordinators for the different countries, the names and addresses. Uh, what more questions? Uh, Bernice and Sandra want to know if you post, do we post a picture before we send it out? I think that would be lovely actually. I'm so looking forward to seeing people's ATCs. I don't know what other groups do, but I know I want to see your ATCs. Yeah. I really do. I'm, exactly. I'm and dying right. to see them. I'm sure other people would like to see them as well. And you're well. not sort of ruining any surprise because nobody knows who's going to get it ultimately. Exactly. So, so yeah, please, please post. Post, away. post your ATCs before you pop them in that envelope and... I've got some ideas to steal. But that's what it is, isn't it? It's all, Everything we post is inspiration for somebody. Absolutely. You know, whether they just take a weeny little bit off it or the whole thing as, as a, you know, sometimes I do things and people emulate them quite closely. That's fine. I've put it out there in the world. If people want to, you know, do it pretty identically, that I, I've got no problem. Uh, Candice says, Susan uh, Turney wants to know if you're not on Facebook, can you still enter? Not really, no. No, because you need the address of the coordinators. Um, which which country is Susan Turney in? Yes. Is she in the UK, Candice? Is that why she's contacted you? Uh, I don't think she has. She's probably asked the question, but I've missed it because it wasn't in capitals. Ah, oh, right, okay. Um, is there a way around that? Not really. I can't think of, you know, because we can't give out people's address without yeah. knowing they're at least a real person yeah. in the group. I mean, I'm quite sure that Susan is, but if we let Susan do that, then we'd have other people wanting to do mm. it. So, no, you've so pretty it's much got to really be... remain in control of the You've got to be a group. member of the Facebook group. Sorry. I, th I think that's fair enough. I mean, we don't have a website. If we had a website, then maybe, but um, no, you, you need to be part of the Facebook group. So, any, anybody else need to know anything? Uh, and Gunny says, are there p p people in the Netherlands participate? Uh, well, I don't... Well, there isn't, Gunny. There's n not enough people. That's, that's the problem. Um... That's the real problem with this, that, you know, in Australia, we've got Kerry um, Mardell, she's Australian, Noella. Um, mm. But that's uh, tops three people who you'd be swapping with all the time. So there's no Australia, there's no Europe. If, if you are in Europe and you want to swap, please let me know. Um, and we'll see if we can get enough together to make it a meaningful swap. Um, what was that question there that I just... Uh, Who's it from? Well, Jen was just asking if they could swap email addresses for that information. But I think it needs to be within the group, really. I, I like the idea of it being in the group. It's a private group. You know, for all I do not know the 3,000 and odd members that we have personally, I feel that there's an element of um, privacy there because the group is a private group. So... No, I like people to be a part of the of the group, please. Sorry. Uh, 
Uh, and Jen says, is there any issue if folks want to message another member of the group for the, their address to swap? If folks want to what? Arrange their own swaps between themselves. That's entirely up to you. Right. If you're happy giving your address out to people, I, 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 it's nothing to do with me. As long as you know it's nothing to do with me. If you have private arrangements with people. If you private message people, that's entirely up to you. Just yeah. don't do it on the group. No, don't don't message people sort of through the group. If you want to privately exchange um, ATCs or anything else, and you arrange it, that's fine. Just please know it's got nothing to do with me. It's it's down to you and and what you want to do. Uh, Ross says Jim is now looking at the Canada Post site to figure out and check the postage. <laughs> Good luck, Jim, with Good that. Good luck, Jim. Blimey. It, uh, we we were trying to wade through it last night about eleven o'clock our time last night, and uh, oh. So uh, Jen, just to clarify, says so. If I wanted to swap with Gonny, she doesn't have someone. No problem, correct? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Likewise, if Gonny wants to post them to Candice in the UK, as long as she puts a stamped address envelope on to get back to get back, that's tied up to her, really. I think that would be all right, Candace. What 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 you got to say about that? I think I think as long as in your st stamped self-addressed envelope, you've got a stamp on there big enough to get from the UK to Europe, and it's a it will cover slightly thicker letters. I, c I don't think Candace is going to have a problem with that. I certainly don't. Be lovely to have you included, Gunny. Yeah. And well, if she puts a stamped addressed envelope, well, actually a self-addressed envelope. We'll stick a large stamp on and send it back, or whatever it costs, because she can't buy UK postage in the Netherlands, can she? No, that's true. So she can't stamp it before. Yeah, these are the little bits of yeah. minutia, aren't they? But we, we can discuss that. Yeah. I don't want you to be excluded, Gunny. You're a great um, member of the group, and I don't want you to be excluded, and I'm sure there's a way of including you. Um, I probably need to defer to Candace on this one. She's the person out of all of us that's got experience in this. Um, so, you know, I'm relying quite heavily on, on Candace at the moment. Yes. Candace says she'd be okay that as long as the postage on, is on the SAE, which is fair enough. Yeah. You don't want Candace to be out of pocket. No, gosh, mm -hmm. no. So is that it? I'm going to post this pretty much verbatim, really, uh, on the group. So if you think of some questions that I haven't covered, um, just ask on, on the group. And just for anybody that is watching that isn't on the group, it's Miss Paint a Lot's Junk Journal group on Facebook. And I do ask three questions when you go there. Please answer them. Um, or, as I say, you get <laughs> denied. <laughs> um so, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Finally, I've shut up. What, uh, jo 50 jo minutes? Jolanda wants to swap. Jolanda? Mm -hmm. Is she? Where's she? Uh, she's in the Netherlands as well, I assume. All right. But of course, you know, it's like we said, you've got two people. Yeah. You, know, you can I, swap once or twice. But I think the thing to do might be to uh send your submissions to candidate i'll I'll clarify uh, goni and jolanda what exactly uh, needs to happen there i just need to have a word with candace about it um but I, i'll i'll contact you and and let you know okay all right yeah any other questions judy hoff uh, she's saying, would it be okay for European peeps to participate and send the UK co coordinator because they would be paying all the postage to send an on a return envelope? Yes, you'd be, they can't buy UK postage if they're in the Netherlands. So they, they pay Netherlands postage to get it to Candice, but then it needs UK postage to get back to the Netherlands. Yeah, you can't so just they, pop a... They, they a, can't do that first. You can't just pop a, an, an envelope in the post box with mm -hmm. a Netherlands stamp on. Where's the Royal Mail making out of that? They're, they're not. It would get so it would just get... Binned. Yeah. So we need to have some system of working that out, which I'll talk to Candace about. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, mm. the, that's the best thing. I mean, it may be that we, Mr. F and myself, 
cover the postage, send Candace some money to cover postage. Um, that might be the best way of doing it. But I don't know. I'm not making no promises until I've spoken to Candace because I don't really know uh, the way forward here. I don't want to be putting on Candace, um, you know, giving her more work than she could do with. And we certainly don't want to exclude anybody either. No, and I don't want any of the coordinators to be out of pocket. That's why we're going plumping for the two forever stamps for the, the US and a large stamp for the UK. Canada, if Jim ever gets to the bottom of it, I'll tell you what it is. Um, but it's not the size. This is the thing, you know. This is what we're sending. Maybe, maybe two of these. So it doesn't have to be 9 by 16 or anything like that. It just has to include these two and a stamped address envelope with a yeah, stamped self-addressed envelope. Um, so the, the size you can go up to is pretty meaningless for us. It's the thickness is, is the thing. And because in this country, certainly, if enough postage hasn't been paid, the post office won't deliver it in a timely manner. They put a card through your door saying that they're trying to deliver something, but it hasn't, it hasn't got enough postage. Um, go to the sorting office, which is only open at six o'clock in the morning or something ridiculous, and pay your additional three pounds, fifty, four pounds or whatever, which is just stupid. It's just so inconvenient. So rather than have a load of people throughout all the countries getting these things from the post office, the Royal Mail, whatever, we're trying to get ahead of that by just saying put a large stamp on. I mean, they're not. They're not dear. By com you know, the step up between the first ordinary and the first large in this country is not massive. Um, and, uh, and in the U US, it's two forever stamps, not one. But I think that, did Judy say 45 cents each? So yeah, it's 82, not 82, what, whatever. We're not breaking the bank here. And as I say, if it... And it's once a month. It's once a month. And if it pleases you, look on it as the cost to enter the swap really pretty much so there you go guys and girls who who is that oh it's not in book cover. jen's thinking carrier pigeon is the best way forward i think you are absolutely right i think when i thought of this i don't even know if it was me that thought of it <laughs> this uh atc swap i didn't realize that it was going to be complex but i should have known I should have known everything we ever try to do ends up being complicated. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, any more block capital things? No. Could we not all donate what? Could we not all donate on Kofi to pay Dutch postage? Don't worry about it. Don't yeah, Please no, don't we'll, worry we'll, about it. We'll come to some arrangement, we'll, I'm sure. We will. Candace will not be out of pocket. That, that I can promise you. And Gonny will be able to take part. And Gonny and Jolanda will be able to take part. So... That's it then, guys. I think I think we're done. I've talked for nearly an hour on blinking ATCs. <laughs> Is it possible to be sick of them already? <laughs> so there we go. I will see you when I see you. I have no definite date for when I'll be back. I need to get my teeth sunk into some Elizabeth Craft Design projects because it's now the 1st of February and I submitted nothing for the whole month of January, so I'm not off to an exact flying start there. Uh, and I also have two journals on commission, which I need to get stuck into as well. So I'm going to be a busy bunny and I'll bring you along on some of the journeys with me when it's... First thing to do is sort this mess of a desk out. And I've got two drawers over there that's got 49 in market stuff in them that's uh, in a right mess. I can't find anything I want. So I need to pull all that out, sort it out and put it back in some tidy like fashion and then get on with with creating. Uh, Jen says, thank you to all involved with this new exciting challenge. I look forward to seeing everyone's wonderful ATC. I do, Jen. That's the glory of it, isn't it? I'm sure once we've made some, done the first swap, it'll all... That's all what these, Roz says. All these problems will Roz is obviously, find themselves out. Roz is obviously an optimist, isn't she? Because she keeps saying... It'll be fine. We'll get past the first month and, and it'll all fall into place. And I think, Which it will. I'm sure it will. But, you know, whilst the rest of us, Judy and me, are going off the deep, we're saying, oh, should we do this? Should we do that? Ros is just saying, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. 
<laughs> so I'm hoping that she's right and it will be fine. I'm sure it will be. It's so, not rocket science. <laughs> you'd think it was. You'd think it was. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I so, so look forward to seeing somebody posting an ATC on the travel theme. Don't forget at the end of this, the theme is for this month of February is travel. So go on, get on with it. Get whatever it is out that you want to get out, your fabric, your acrylics, your... Bucket and spade. A pencil, <laughs> coloured pencils, uh, fine liners, whatever it is that makes you happy. And, you know, it's got to make you happy, otherwise why do it? And post them in the group before you post them off to your coordinator. And there'll be a post in the group later on, which will be telling you exactly what I've spent an hour telling you now. <laughs> Sorry. And I'll see you when I see you. So thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Be safe, be happy, be kind. Bye. Bye.